Hey there, now we are working on bio poems, which is slide five, and a 5W poem, which is slide six. I'm showing you me because we are working on bio poems, like biography about yourself poems, okay? So let's jump into our slides for our poetry month. Okay, our first poem for bio poems, here we go. It says, bio poems are poems about a person. You can write a bio poem about yourself or someone else. Bio poems are 10 lines long and follow a specific pattern. They do not rhyme. What? Another poem that doesn't rhyme? That is correct. So line one is a first name. So their example, Lucy. Line two, four adjectives. So adjectives describe nouns or people, okay? Um, so these are things that describe Lucy. So creative, daring, joyful, kind. Think about like those kindness cards um, that you get from teachers. Helpful, assertive, um, strong, okay? So that's what an adjective is. An adjective is also color words, descriptors, like firm, soft, those types of things, but I recommend more personality traits here, just because it kind of goes with the poem a little bit better. And you would say son or daughter of, um, so daughter of Adam and Rachel, who loves, who loves, and then share some things that you love, who fears, share a couple things that you fear. So Lucy, lo who loves, drawing, dancing, and skating, who fears boredom and the garbage disposal. Line six, who needs, who needs her friends and family. Seven, who gives, who gives warm hugs and frequent smiles. So what's something that you like to do for others? Who would like to see, who would like to see a parade of bunnies? <laughs> so funny. And line nine, resident of, Okay, we would all probably say resident of Jamestown, North Dakota, maybe Medina, North Dakota, wherever your mailing address is. And then last name, Lynette. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do mine. So it says, now try writing your own bio poem. When you are writing your poem, try to think of two or three different things for the lines that start with the word who. So I'm going to follow that on top um, or in front of it. So first name. Danica. Four adjectives. I would like to say that some people think it's funny. Funny, caring. So I need two more and notice I separate those with commas. Um, empathetic. And an optimist. Empathetic means that I put myself in other people's shoes and I care for them, trying to think of how other person might feel. And then the optimist means I always try to see the positive. Okay, since I'm a girl, I'm a daughter of Jolene and Peggy, that's my parents' names, who loves, so I'm gonna include the who loves her family and friends. Okay, why I said instead of saying I love my family and friends, it's describing me. It's um, talking in a different person, okay? So it's as if someone else is sharing this about you. Who fears heights and snakes. I'll just say all reptiles, sorry. Just honest. Who needs, who gives, who would like to see resident of Jamestown, North Dakota, Smith. <clears throat> okay, so what are things I need? Who needs coffee? Yes, lots of coffee, right? <laughs> it's not the number one thing I need, but it's high up there, <laughs> depending on the day. Who needs coffee and company? So it might even be like a nice visit with my husband or a relative or a friend. 
who gives um what are things I give? I give hugs and um attention. So my attention, meaning I like to give like when you're talking to me, I like to give you eye contact. So that's attention. Or sometimes I intentionally give phone calls and things like that. Okay. Who would like to see hmm, an end to the coronavirus? <laughs> oh, who would like to see her students? Yes. I'd like to see my students. Okay. Residents of Jamestown, North Dakota and Smith. So now if we were to actually read it, without the things in front. Okay, here we go. Danica, funny, caring, empathetic, optimist, daughter of Dwayne and Peggy, who loves her family and friends, who fears pipes and reptiles, who needs coffee and company, who gives hugs and attention, who would like to see her students. Resident of Jamestown, North Dakota, Smith. That's a bio poem. Now we're moving on to slide six. Okay, how I got there is in the left corner here. We said five, and now we see six. Five W poem tells a story by answering five questions that all begin with W. The questions themselves do not appear in the poem, and the poem does not rhyme. Again, it does not rhyme. So who, what, when, where, why? Who or what is this poem about? What is he or she? he, she, or it doing? When is this action taking place? Where does it take place? Why does it take place? Little tree frog sitting so still in the moonlight on a branch outside my window waiting for your breakfast. So it says try writing about an animal and then this one about a person. This one is a group of people or animals. Okay so I'm just going to go to this bottom one Right away, I kind of think of my family at Christmas. Moran Christmas. Oh, Moran family. That's my maiden name. That's um, my family. So what? Okay, so when we go back up to the top, what is he or she doing? What? I'm going to say eating, laughing and playing games. Okay, they don't need to rhyme. When? Christmas Day. Where? At Grandma Nora's house. Uh, that's actually how we call her. We say, hi, Grandma Nora. We don't just say, hi, Grandma. A lot of times our family refers to Grandma Nora as Grandma Nora and not just Grandma. And so that's why I capitalized it. Let's say you say Nana's house. Okay, so at Nana's house, Nana would be capitalized, but maybe you don't have Grandma in there. So heads on. So if you call your Grandma, Grandma Nora, or Grandma Peggy, or Grandpa Peggy, or Grandpa Paul, or whatever it is. Um, sometimes it's capitalized, sometimes it isn't. Why? To celebrate our faith and family. Okay, so now this is poem is done. Grand family, eating, laughing, and playing games. Christmas Day at Grandma Nora's house. Celebrate, um, I'm gonna take out R to celebrate faith and family. Okay, so that poem's done for me. So now you would continue. You could say wolves or whatever. It's up to you. Um, so group of people or group of animals, person, and then the top is animals. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on poems and we'll be back for more help soon. Bye guys.